Hey Book Of, what's up? It's me, a Winter, and today I'll be answering some of your questions. So here we go. What's the story behind your debut EP, Yeah, No? So Yeah, No is all about defying people's assumptions. Um, and Yeah, No is the lead single and title track of the EP of my first project because it's all about, you know, being empowered and knowing who you are and what you need and not letting someone else um, you know, describe what that is for you. So I felt like that was reflective of the theme of the project just because it's all about, you know, embracing each experience and reclaiming my narrative and telling my story. So that's a little bit behind my EP, yeah, no. How did you come up with the concept? Um, it really just came about organically as I was writing about my real experiences and, you know, feeling so empowered in doing that. In, um, and being honest and as open as possible and, and really just telling my truth. So that's kind of um, how I came up with it. How would you describe your music slash sound? Um, I would say pop rhythmic, definitely incorporating organic elements in every song. And I actually feel on this project, since it is, um, it has this overall theme of empowerment that each song is, is very anthemic and um, and powerful. So that's a little, probably my sound in a nutshell. Where do you get your inspiration whenever you create music? Um, it honestly depends on the song. I'm, I'm inspired um, by so many different things. You know, I think the commonality um, is that I'm just inspired by whatever makes me feel anything. So that could be, you know, a breakup, a new relationship, a conversation with a friend or a family member, you know, even just a movie or a TV show, I just find things like that really inspire me because they make me, you know, think deeply and feel, yeah. For you, when is the best time to create slash write music? What's the most ideal environment for you? Um, it honestly depends on the song as well. I, um, I am writing, I feel like any and everywhere. I'll be writing, I'll be at a party and I'll go into the corner, I'll write something. I'll be on an airplane and I'm super inspired. I don't know why. Um, in a studio, I'm really inspired by the people I'm working with and obviously the music being created in the room. Um, so it depends on, on the song and how I'm feeling. When you write your songs, do you think of yourself, your emotions, and whatever you're feeling, or do you think of the fans and what they'd love to hear from you? I definitely think of my experiences and what I'm feeling because I find that, you know, I'm a huge fan of music and the music I love listening to is music that is honest and um, helps me connect with the artist because I feel less alone in whatever I'm going through if they're talking about what they're going through as well. So I find that when I write about what I'm feeling, um, I not only connect to my music more, but my listeners do as well. So I, um, I definitely write based on how I'm feeling, what I'm going through. Which artists inspire you? Um, I grew up listening to these strong female artists like Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, uh, Fergie, Kelly Clarkson, Avril Lavigne, I mean, there's so many. And, I'm so lucky um, to have grown up with these influences that really inspired me. Um, it made me feel like, you know, I could do it too. If they were doing it, I um, I felt like I could I could achieve those goals as well. So I was super inspired by those ladies. And um, I also love artists like Stevie Wonder, Ed Sheeran, Bruno Mars. Um, I mean, their musicianship super inspiring to me and I learned so much from just revisiting their records and, and studying their music so I, I love them as well. What are the highs and lows of your career so far? Um, I'd say the highs are you know the relationships I've formed just along the way from my fans to just people on my team who I consider my family and the people who have believed in me for all this time. Um, I'm so lucky to, to have them in my life and you know, without music, I wouldn't have met, met them. So it's, it's really so beautiful and I'm so lucky for that. Um, I'd say the lows would be, you know, I feel like just in life or in any industry, um, I, I feel like sometimes I can be so focused on the next goal and the next milestone and I'm not appreciating them as they come. And it's like something will happen and then I'll just be focused on getting the next thing or doing the next thing or 
always looking ahead. So I'm working on just being more present and grounded in what is going on and just, you know, celebrating each achievement and not getting too wrapped up in, in more and what's to come and everything. Um, where am I? Okay. How are we able to rise up to the challenges? I would say, you know, having a strong support system has really helped me. Um, there's so many people I love and that believe in me and support me and don't judge me. So I feel confident enough to, to pursue my dreams and, and you know, face difficulty and, and know that I have people who love and believe in me and who are there for me, you know. And whatever may happen, they're there, you know. Aside from music, what else keeps you busy? Um, I'm a student at the University of Pennsylvania. I have a puppy that keeps me busy. Um, yes, she keeps me very busy. She is six months and she is crazy. So that definitely is a lot of work. Um, how do you adapt and keep yourself relevant? I would say, you know, just being aware of what's going on around me has been very helpful and, um, you know, reading and listening to new music, other types of music, and just trying to be open-minded. I think that can really can really help and not limiting myself to, to one thing, one, one lane. You know, something I've realized is that, you know, we don't have to be one thing. You can embrace so many different aspects of yourself um, and that's wonderful. What are you excited about the most this year? I am excited to perform this music and tour and get back on the road. Um, it's been really cool to see over social media how these songs have connected with so many people and I'm so excited to physically see that in person at shows coming up. What's a valuable lesson that you've learned from your career that you think is universally relevant? I'd say that everything happens for a reason. I think that is so true and so helpful and has really kept me at peace and um, you know in just any aspect of my life I feel like that's very a very helpful um, lesson I've learned. If you were a book, what book would you be and why? Hmm. You know, I just read Kite Runner and I love that book because it's all about you know, family and friendship. And what I found so interesting is that, you know, despite how different we may think we are, we're actually so much more alike. And, um, you know, we all just want meaningful connections with each other. and. I think that book really um, highlighted that. So I found that really special and eye-opening. I loved that that book. So I think that's that's a book I'd read. But thank you, Abuka. Thank you for having me. Thank you for your thoughtful questions. And I will see you soon. My name's Elle Winter. And make sure to check out my debut EP. Yeah, no. Bye, guys. <laughs>